This is the formal ceremony for uh, naming this building, the Pulitzer Building, and this does not happen uh, very often at all uh, at the university. I think there's only one other occasion that uh, I've been at where we've done this. So it's very important. Um, it's really wonderful to have so many members of the Pulitzer family here. I just heard I think there are 40, maybe 40 plus members of the family, and that's fantastic. We really, really are appreciative of everything you've done and are doing. The name Pulitzer is, um, has a, a magic about it. Uh, I often wish I were named Pulitzer. And <laughs> Um, I have a name. I know a little bit about what it must be like uh, to have the name Pulitzer because uh, my name also is associated with the Champagne uh, in France. And whenever I go to Britain or France uh, where they drink a lot of the Champagne, I'm always asked whether I'm part of the Bollinger family. And of course, I say no. Um, but to walk around the world and be around the world and have the name Pulitzer must be a just a thrilling sort of thing. So that's, uh, that's great. It's also the case, I find, that the Pulitzer Prizes, which Nick and I both participate in, and last week, of course, was a major event on that, uh, on that score, has taken on a meaning in the world where people associate really the highest quality, the greatest honor uh, with that name. And uh, we, of course, do as well. If you think about journalism, uh, you, you immediately start thinking in sort of rapturous language. And a lot of the wonderful statements about what journalism means uh, to the world come from Joseph Pulitzer. I, I believe every one of them. I think that journalism is the highest, uh, one of the highest callings uh, that you can possibly have in life. And I think it is uh, completely essential to the type of lives uh, that we aspire to lead and uh, occasionally do lead uh, in life. Uh, I was born and raised in a newspaper family, and uh, I know the name Pulitzer from that experience. I've been First Amendment a scholar for all of my career. I know the name Pulitzer from that, and I know also the greatness of journalism and the press as utterly central uh, to everything that we want uh, in a democratic republic. And now, of course, we have to want it uh, for the world. This school is really an amazing place, and I am so proud uh, to have been part of this school by being president. In fact, I sometimes think that I became president, in, aspired to be president, so I could be part of the journalism school. It is a tremendous place. I am sometimes asked, uh, what part of Columbia, what parts of Columbia are the best on the planet? And the first answer is always the School of Journalism, because it absolutely is the, the best. The faculty are tremendous. The students are great. I love interacting been absolutely stellar. I have said on many occasions, I've known many deans, I've been a dean myself, I've known no better dean uh, and no better friend uh, than Nick Lemon. So today there are many, many things to celebrate, but I give you now Nick Lemon. Nick. Um, thank you very, very much. Uh, that was kind and it's been um, I, I know that, uh, I haven't fact-checked this, but it must be true that Lee is the most journalism-friendly president of a major university ever in world history, and it's been my great good fortune to serve under him and, and lead this school. So let me tell you how this all happened. Um, Jim Boylan, who I saw a minute, where are you, Jim? Uh, wrote, our, our centennial, uh, we, we would like it to last forever, uh, and we've had the world's longest running centennial, and it's going to be running for at least another year after that. It started in 2003 with the 
publication of Jim's Centennial History of the School. And uh, in the course of doing that, the research for that book, Jim pulled up all the original negotiations between Joseph Pulitzer and the university and found lots and lots of interesting things, including that the gift agreement said uh, that this building shall bear the name of the donor. So Jim felt shall bear the name of the donor doesn't mean brass letters like that. It means letters like on Fernald Hall and that it should bear the name of the donor the way Fernald Hall bears the name of the donor. And a little bit of agitation started. The leading agitators were Jim and Betsy and Al Lasher. Are you here, Al? Um, and, and Eve Mayer and a number of other members of the, especially the class of 1952, started kind of pestering me that uh, there was a thing that had to be corrected. Uh, so we at the school decided to petition the trustees very secretly to allow us to change the name. And uh, our petition was granted, and we decided to open our centennial by officially changing the name of this, the building to from journalism, which is up there and was now merely descriptive of what goes on here, to Pulitzer, which you'll see in a minute is from this moment forward the name of our building. We're thrilled to have uh, many members of the Pulitzer family here. Um, I don't see them all, but Michael is here, Joseph Pulitzer's grandson. Um, his wife, Seal, is somewhere around here. Um, Catherine Moore is here. Uh, two of Joseph Pulitzer's grandchildren sadly passed away recently, um, and that's Catherine's late husband, David, um, and Patsy Pulitzer Preston, who's uh, one of whose daughters is here. Cookie, are you here? Yeah. And, um, and there's, there's uh, many more Pulitzer descendants and relatives here. We're thrilled to have you here for this occasion to honor our school's founder. Um, so now uh, it's time. <laughs> Take out the magic scissors and, uh, and do the deed. This is uh, our equivalent of breaking the bottle of uh, Bollinger champagne. We probably should have brought two. Uh, and I hope this works. So wish me luck. Um, so, uh, you see, the writing books has an effect, and journalism makes a difference in the world, and this is the evidence. Um, and, uh, and now we'll all proceed over to Miller Theater for a further centennial opening celebrations. Thanks very much, everybody, for being here, and make sure to change uh, all letters you address to our school uh, from this moment forward. See you in a minute.